If you're looking to update the content on the sidebar of your website, uh, we're going to show you how to do that in this video. So this video will walk you through how to update, edit, change, swap around, do anything you want to the content in the sidebar. And you'll notice on, on many of our websites, there is content already in there by default. And on some of the website templates, uh, for instance, the main branding website, there is no sidebar at all on the home page or uh, some of the website's no pages. So if you're using a look and feel of your website that includes a sidebar, I'm going to show you how to, up how to update that right now. So here's one of our sample websites, and you can see we've customized it a little bit. But the sidebar elements are essentially the same as, as many of our template websites. So a lot of times there's a picture up here that's clickable, takes the user to a new page. There's a connect with us bar, which automatically populates your social media as you put it in there. There's recent posts, testimonials over there. And the cool thing is that these elements that are added in there right now are just ones that we've chosen to activate. There's many elements that you can use in your sidebar. If you want to use, you can delete these ones, change these ones, do whatever you want. But just know that with the sidebar as, as it comes to you, is essentially a canvas where you can then make it better for to suit your needs, change it, or you can keep it the same like a lot of our users do. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and log into your account and then go down and uh, hover over appearance and you're going to see this little link that says sidebar. Okay, So this is where we're going to manage all of the sidebar elements. So I'm going to show you guys a few different things on how to manage a sidebar, but then uh, we'll have different video tutorials walking you through how to do specific things like how to upload a new image into your sidebar or how to add your social media links or things like that or how to update your testimonials. Okay, So if you have specific questions on how to do these, look through our video tutorials on those specific items and or look below this video on the page you're watching it and there will be links to those specific videos. So the quick little tour on your sidebar. So what you're going to see is this thing that says widgets and that's what we call all these different options on what you can do with your sidebar. And then over here on the right is the different parts of your sidebar. So you've got the primary, which primary means it's the primary sidebar on your website, which is this right here. That's the one that goes across all of your different web pages. And the sidebar on your pages is, is going to be the same. Okay, so if whatever you change here is going to be the same sidebar as what's on this other page if you're choosing to use the sidebar on that page. Okay, so that's the primary sidebar. Secondary sidebar is if you use a three column layout. So, as you've seen in other video tutorials, one really big benefit about Carrot is we don't bind you down on what the layout of your website can be. And what we mean by that is uh, if you want a one column layout with no sidebar, awesome. You can do that with a, with a click of the mouse. Look at our layouts tutorial. If you want a two column layout, just like it is right here, awesome. If you want a three column layout where you, there's actually this and then another column, you can do that as well. That third column is this secondary box. Okay, You'll see it's not in use right now because uh, very few of our users actually use the, the secondary column. And then down here we've got these footer options. And these are in here for more advanced users. You'll uh, you, Most users will probably never touch these. But what you can do is you can actually customize what the footer of your website looks like. Okay, So by default, this is the footer of your website. But if you want a footer on your website that has two big old box areas where you can put your own images or own content uh, with this below it, you can do that. Or you can have four or whatever. And that's what these are for. So you can display different types of content in your footer. Let's say you wanted to create a footer with um, you know multiple different pieces of content. I'm not going to show you this in big detail. Look at our tutorials for how to customize your footer and you'll find a tutorial in there. But let's say you want to add a video. All you have to do is grab this embed video widget, grab it over there, put in your uh, the video and you're good to go. Okay, so that's how to do that. Or let's say you didn't want the video. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. You wanted an image in there or something else, a Facebook like box. Okay, let's say you wanted the Facebook like box in there. All you have to do is put in the ID of your uh, uh, page and or and or the the name of your page. Click save. And now you're going to have a Facebook like box in there. But what we're going to focus on in this video once again is your sidebar. So that's the primary sidebar that we're going to be working in. So you can see by default, uh, here is this image. There's an image usually at the top of your motivated seller or buyer websites that points to a lead page. There's the connect with us, recent posts, which this populates from your blog, and then testimonials. Here what others have to say. So I'm going to show you where these are and how to edit them. 
So once you open up the primary sidebar, you're going to see the different things that are already in there. So you can see image widget. You can go ahead and open these up by clicking this little down arrow, and it's going to bring it up. So you can see that's the image that's on this specific website. Okay. If you want a different image, all you have to do is go ahead and click select image, choose the image that you want to replace it off of your uh, media library or upload it from your computer, and then you would just go ahead and click insert into widget, and it would replace that image right there for you. So really quick and easy, takes a few seconds. If you want to change the title of that, so I'm going to go back over here. This right now says get discount property alerts. Let's say you wanted that to say something different. Here's the title. Um, get on get on our buyers list. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and click save. Refresh. Now it says get on our buyers list. Or if you don't want any title in there at all, let's go ahead and delete it and there's no title. And there's some different options as well. So when people click this image, where do you want them to go? And that's where this link is. So put in the link that you want the person to be taken to after they click it. And there's different options here as well. Do you want them to stay on your website or open up into a new window? Uh, you know, how, how big is the image, alignment, whatever. If you don't want that in there, in there at all, you can do the same thing you do on any of our widgets. You just go and open it up, scroll down and click delete, and it will, it will delete that from your sidebar widget. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and keep it in there for now. Going on down, you've got your connect with us bar and this is just uh, populated by adding in the info uh, about your social media on your company info tab in your dashboard okay so let's say you don't even want that in there you want to say something else so the title rather than connect with us find find us online okay click save refresh and you're gonna see now it's gonna say find us online and you can also once again edit this content and what it says Really, really cool stuff. Let's go ahead and close that. Recent post. This is just one of the widgets, guys, that we dragged over from this area over here. So recent post, it just delivers your most recent blog post. You can see that right there. So if a user clicks it, it's going to take them over to your blog. And we've auto automatically populated a couple blog posts into your website already. And this really helps with, with engaging someone, keeping them on your website. We really do highly suggest that you do blog posts on your at least one of your websites to keep... Uh, uh, users engaged to really build up your company brand and it helps a lot with their search engine optimization. But if you don't want this in there, let's say you're not going to use your blog and you don't want that in there, just go ahead and go down here, click delete. It'll delete it from the area. You see it's not there now. And I can just go ahead and go over here, refresh, and you're going to see now it's gone. Okay, so it's not there anymore. So that's one way to get rid of that. Last, we've got the testimonials. Uh, we really do highly suggest that you use testimonials to build social proof and credibility on your website. That's one of the biggest determining factors on whether someone's actually going to trust your website or not, is having social proof on your website. And by default, we've put some kind of quotes that, that uh, are related to your different uh, websites and what you're trying to accomplish in here. But we really do highly suggest that you take your own testimonials and put them in there. And this is how you manage uh, that box. So what do you want to happen? Do you want five testimonials to be in there or ten? How, how often do you want them to fade through the whole thing? Okay, so we're just going to leave this as it is. Or if you wanted to change the title of it, just like I did above, you can do that. I'm just going to go ahead and click close and show you one last thing. So the last thing is, once again, we've got these different widgets. So if you wanted one of these elements in your website, it's as simple as a, a dragging this over and, and inserting it right in the side box. If you wanted a Facebook like box in your sidebar, just grab the Facebook like box element right there, put it where you want it to go. Let's say you want it to go above the testimonials. Go ahead and drag it above the testimonials. Go get your Facebook page. So you can title us, you know, like us. Get your Facebook page. So I'm not talking about the, the entire URL. I'm talking about just the name of your page. Okay, so whatever comes after the facebook.com forward slash in your page name, that's what you're going to put right here. And then you can choose to show faces or not, show the stream, show the header, click save, and uh, and then it's going to be in there. Okay, so that's a really cool option that we've made available for you. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. If you want a search box in there, uh, if you want different tabs in there, if you want... Um, text so this this box right here the text box you can put pretty much anything you want you're gonna have to have to be adept at using code to use this one but if you want to put different things in there and style them yourself this is how it's done you can put your your twitter stream in there um, all kinds of really cool things guys so uh, a calendar in there archives uh, blog information or you can build a custom widget uh, different things that you can do and if there's different things that you want to do 
that that it looks like uh, our system isn't letting you do that, let us know. And odds are it can do that and we'll show you how to do it. So that's how to really edit and customize the sidebar content. Okay, and once again, there's individual tutorials walking you through how to do specific things in here. But if you're looking to go in and, and just swap out the image because you want a different image in there or an image that says something different or maybe you don't even want an image at all, that's where it's going to be done. And if you have any questions about how to edit your sidebar, hit us up on support or live chat. We're here for you.